Hello, everybody. You could call me Hunch. I know what you're thinking. Hunch, how do you make such brilliant calls? Therein lies the question. I have no idea. Okay? But today, I'm going to be telling you what I think, uh, what might happen with stacks in the short to medium term. You obviously know what's going on in the long term. Okay? And uh, I just want to tell you why I'm bullish. In fact, I'm not going to tell you. Okay? I'm going to show you. Okay? You see this? Call him Henry. Call him George. Call him Lucy. I don't care what you call him. Stacks NFTs, baby. <laughs> Let's dive on in. Okay. Gosh. My camera is always in the wrong spot. That's no surprise. Okay. So you're looking at a chart here. Uh, here's the thing. I wouldn't overthink this too much, okay? Don't get too weird about it, too overly involved, right? You had a bump here up against this uh, resistance line, a bump here, okay? And then a bump here, obviously. Now, if you zoom on in, okay, and we'll move over here. God, you are looking so good, hunch baby, okay? This is what I think could happen. Now, there's... I don't know for sure if this is going to happen. This isn't probably going to be as good as the call I made the other day. And if you haven't watched it, uh, go watch my previous video. It's incredible. The call I made with the cup and handle going up to the resistance line, coming back down, going up, forming support, and then impulse up. Okay. What I do think, and because I showed you that ape, is that we're uh, going to continue, uh, continue our bullish uh, bias. Okay. And so what, what would that mean? That would be something like uh, this, you know, bull flag, okay? And then break out. And then, you know, whatever happens there. You can't hold me accountable to that. Now, not financial advice. Do whatever you want. If I had to guess, that's what I think might start happening, okay? Some of the people who have gotten back to, uh, uh, you know, what they bought in at are probably going to want to sell out. But there's still a lot of fundamental strength. So this is uh, why I think this may happen, okay? And we all know I got a big noggin, okay? Um, if not, okay, what I would be looking for uh, here is, uh, and let's just draw this line continued out, is it to continue to bump up against this resistance. The more that it bumps up against the resistance, Okay, uh, that would lead me to believe that it's eventually going to break out unless the fundamental fundamental narrative changes, right? Uh, I just think that the more you, you know, nothing's black and white in trading and I'm not a trader, I'm an accumulator. So don't take this, uh, take this with a grain of salt. The more you bump up against resistance in a bull market, the more I think that it wants to break it. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. Do whatever you want. Okay, now that we've touched on that, it, you know, not too much development with the stacks chart, but we called that beautiful community. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe because I got a big old brain. Okay, and so does everyone else in here, except the XRP people, man. They are just so weird. It's XRP people, man. I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> okay. The next thing I want to talk about is, uh, uh, and here, I got to move my camera again. Sorry about this. The next thing I want to talk about is the Stacks ecosystem, okay? Alex uh, token, which is a DeFi protocol, had a huge impulse up basically to where it was after getting absolutely destroyed. Here, let's see if the chart changes too dra dramatically. Over the last six months, okay? Absolutely destroyed. Arcadico has been destroyed. That's another DeFi protocol on Stacks. But if this bullish momentum continues, like I've drawn in this chart, these things are going to start getting attention. And why is that? Well, DeFi is obviously a growing trend, according to ARC, analysts, yourself, okay? You can see why that's beneficial. But I, I just want you to take a look here, okay? You got stacks, right? And there's not that much on it, right? Miami coin, New York City coin, I have both of those in case... They go absolute bananas in the next bull run. I'm not going to say they are, but, and again, not financial advice. You have to look at these things as a risk reward. The Ethereum ecosystem have some of those other DeFi protocols. 
those governance tokens went absolutely bananas. So I'm not saying put a lot of money in here, right? I'm not saying put any money in here. That was my best wink. I'm just saying the risk reward for not just putting like $10 in here, if they're valued at like a million dollar market cap and they do catch on, right? For example, Miami coin or New York city coin, start building a bond, a, a local um, bond type of network on top of those. That could be huge. Okay. Now, Arcadico, uh, I agree. I also think that it would be unwise not to at least get $10 worth of Arcadico. Okay. Um, these things may fail, right? I mean, they're, small projects stacks may fail too i mean the lightning network may be all we need there may be another protocol bitcoin altogether can fail so you have to take everything with a grain of salt stop listening to big youtubers big youtubers don't even bring up stacks okay uh for the most part and for the they've been wrong okay so uh i don't know why i have a twitter page up here but it was probably i had a twitter thing to show you but i don't so to recap I think if anything is forming, it's just going to keep bumping up, maybe uh, building support here, maybe more resistance, or is building a bull flag, okay? And then in terms of just risk reward, right, and DeFi on Bitcoin, you know, I'm not talking about tokenomics, I'm not talking about anything else. Like everyone, I always get haters in the comments that are like, bro, oh, this guy's so stupid, blah, 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 blah. Do your own research. I'm just making you aware. It may be unwise to ignore these things, right? Just like it may be unwise to ignore the real trends on Ethereum, right? Like DeFi. Like I'm probably shooting myself in the foot by doing that. But we all know how much I hate Ethereum. Okay? So you can call me Hunch. This is my stacks update. A yeser.